Hey guys, welcome back. Um, welcome to a Roblox Studio tutorial. Um, today, um, this is episode two of the how to make um, a game like Tower of Hell on Roblox. Um, yeah, the quality, my video quality is so much better. I figured out um, how to make it so much, uh, how to make it like much more clear and stuff. Um, so I did that. Got a proper microphone this time. Um, yeah. Last episode, I got, like, um, I wasn't very organized, so I'm gonna, like, fix a few things and stuff this time. Um, so, yeah, let's do this. So, first, um, just fixing a couple things. Um, your script in server script service, um, you're going to want to name it main, just to let you know that it's the main script. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that should be it for now. Now, so we're going to be making it so, um, the, your stages can be, like, any length you want. Um, so they don't have to all be the same size. Okay, so first, um, go to placeholders. Um, I'm going to make them all transparent now. Um, just going to quickly change the color. So, so, like, because they're the placeholders, just changing the color so they're all the same. Um, if I can find where that is, okay, never mind. Um, anyway, so you're going to want to get rid of um, get rid of all of them except for the first one here. So this is the start. Um, keep the first one, and I'm gonna make that transparent again. Um, and then yeah, so you ha have only the first placeholder, and then um. What you're going to want to do is go to your main script and just highlight this and press tab and up here, enter, um, and for count equals one. And then this number um, is going to be however many, however many stages you want um, to be in your game. So if you want like five, just type five. Um, if you wanted like, for example, four, just do four. Um, I'm gonna do like seven just for the um, tutorial, and then do or do, and then um, you're gonna have to go to the bottom end here and press enter, and then backspace to, and then do an end to like make the end here, um, and then um, yeah, because this would loop the thing for. Or whatever for however many um placeholders there were so it don't it would only do do one now um there's probably better ways to do this but right now i can't figure it out um might change that like might show you how to fix that when i figure out in a future um video but anyway so like you, so you keep all these the same and then down here in chosen level set primary part c frame i oh, know actually first you go up here and do a new local called studs and that equals just zero um yeah and then um you go yeah you go down to set primary part c frame just delete um the placeholder dot c frame and type and do a bracket thing um c frame dot new another one um of those and then placeholder dot position then go out of that. I'm actually going to quickly check if that is called a bracket. No, oh, it's my bad. Um, the they they're called parentheses. I always get mixed up with brackets and stuff. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, go inside. Um, outside the um parentheses inside the parentheses. <laughs> um. Yep. And then do a plus. And then ve vector three. And then dot new. And then parentheses. And then studs, um, wait, comma zero, comma zero. Um, this just like changes the position by how many studs. Um, the um base thing, the stages. Um, you'll understand it. It'll be easier to understand in a second. Um, so, and then studs equals studs. 
minus chosen level dot studs um, dot value. So we're going to be making this um, in a second. And, but for now, um, just yeah. So well, the script is done. Pretty sure. Um, so now you want no, wrong one. Um, now you want to go to replicated storage. I'm just going to move um, the generated levels folder into workspace so I can see what I'm doing um, properly. Yep, over here. Okay. Um, I'm going to move these apart real quick so it's easier to work with them. Okay, so yep. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so the model. So you're going to want to go down here. Um, and then find size in part and then go press the little arrow and find x so the x size is 14 um, i'm going to change it to 18 so there's like the var var variety the <laughs> of like different sizes and then i'm going to go to the screen one just make it like um i would make this one 10 so this is 14 10 and 18 and then um yeah so you go to the model and then insert a value, a, a um, number value. Um, and then it doesn't matter if like um, your si the size is like 18.1 or 5 or something. Um, just just like copy the um, x size um, into, into this value here. So 18. And then rename the value studs and then copy and paste it into each of the models and now so um and then change the value to the size of the floor so this one would be um 10 and this one would be 14 okay yep and then you can put your generated levels back in replicated storage and it should work now um note wait position um note wait i accidentally put an s um, it whoops it should be position not positions okay here we go Oh wait, what? That's what happened. Um. Oops. It's like something goes wrong every single time. Wait, I think it's um at the end here. You just want to change studs back to zero. Um, I think should be it. No, I think I got one of the numbers wrong. Maybe. Yeah, this happens every single, so far I've got an error in every single <laughs> one, like the video, well, I've only done two, this is the second, but still, <laughs> there's 10, 10, 14, 14, okay, I'm just going to quickly figure out what's wrong and I'll be back. Okay, um, so I, I forgot something, um, first, but first I'm just going to quickly line this up properly um just gonna line yep okay there we go um lined up so um these this placeholder um i'm just gonna change the change the size um so the placeholder it needs to be like um well it can be any size really but um you need to change the floor part size to match the size of this and then so I'm just gonna copy the floor and then um, so the floor on this one is 14 okay um, that's just the same anyway but so you want to um, I'm gonna move this back up here um, so there so um, the this piece is 14 studs long you want to have the um floor piece to be 14 studs long which in this one it is so i'm going to keep it the same 
but I'm going to make it invisible because it's like the placeholder thing in this model. Um, if you if you don't understand, um, I will like show you how to make your proper map um, in the next episode because I'm sure I'm not the best at explaining this explaining this right now. But yeah, um, and then so this one um, you'd want. To you want to like make another piece actually um which um okay name the i'm just gonna name this part because that you only want one floor part and that has to be like the base plate part um in this part and this one transparent and um the size to 14. um should should all work hope um part otherwise i'm just like really bad at the tutorials <laughs> okay yep so all the generated levels have a proper piece in it like have a proper base plate part that it that goes to that whatever yep <laughs> no and i am just bad at youtube tutorials Okay, um, yeah, I think I know what's wrong this time. So, um, your placeholder needs to actually be smaller than the, um, ob th than the, um, a stage. So, I'm just going to make this 4x4. Four four. And then, line it up. Um, yep, line it up. So it's all lined up, and then you want a 4x4 P. Oh no, wait a sec. Wait, okay, yeah. Um, then you want to change your the base plate, like the floor part, um, to be, to the four, the, like the 4x4, four four, like whatever size you pick. And then line it up at the start. Make sure it's lined up at the start of your, um, of your stage. Okay, I'm just making sure that's lined up. That is transparency one. Um, yeah, so make sure the base part is smaller than your actual stage and make sure it's lined up to the start. I'll just quickly do that. Um, real quick. And I'll be back when I finish it. Um, okay, yep. Um, all the floor parts are the proper size now <laughs> and it'll work this time because if not I have no clue why yep see so um, they're different the stages are different lengths and they're all working fine they're lining up perfectly see it works <laughs> now if um, if you need help making a map um, like proper map and understanding it um, like understanding how to make a proper map, I will um, I'll do that in the next episode. Um, so the next episode will be just um, me explaining how to make a proper map if you're confused. Um, or and I'll use the maps for the rest of the tutorial, um, probably. Um, maybe yeah. But hope you guys enjo enjoyed. Um, if there's anything confusing, let me know and I'll try. I will try and like explain it better or something yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed um i'm the quality is so much better um which is good and yeah see you guys next time i guess <laughs> yeah yeah see you guys next time um yeah <laughs>